Hi, I'm Dana Obelman. Welcome to this week's video chat. Today I wanted to talk to, to you about something that I feel really passionate about and that is the idea of allowance for children. Um, you know, I think we just need to look around at the state, you know, of our country, uh, everyone's debt load, to realize that some important things need to change. You know, credit cards have sort of tricked us into believing that we can have whatever we want, whenever we want it. And, and the reality of that is that it's not true, that we can't always have exactly what we want. And that is why I think it's so important that we start teaching that to our children from a very, very young age. And I, I would say from three years and onward, you can start an allowance system. Now, absolutely, it's going to be a little trickier with a three-year-old. They're not going to fully understand that they only have three dollars, and it's not going to be you're not going to be able to buy the hundred-dollar teddy bear. But it's it's about starting the foundation, and it's about giving children the skills and the tools that they need to start making some wise decisions about money. I mean, I, I really feel that money needs to be respected. Uh, you need to think things through. You need to plan out what you're going to buy and when. And if you start that young, um, it, it just will grow with your child. In fact, you know, I look at my 10-year-old who just managed to save up enough money to buy himself a computer and I think, you know, he's got a, a lot more money skills than a lot of teenagers I see these days. So, you know, go ahead and start it and, and encourage it and follow through with it. Now, some of the pitfalls that people have fallen into with allowance, and, and I've been there myself, is, you know, I believe that allowance should be earned. I'm, I'm not about to hand my children money for nothing because, again, where in the real world does that occur? Um, I want them to earn it, and that means they need to do daily chores around our house in order to receive their allowance. Now, a lot of people say to me, oh, but then it's just this week of arguing and nagging and, and pouting uh, about the chores that have to be done, and I agree that, that that's not fun, uh, and that's not the way I want things to, to be in my house. So here's some strategies I've collected along the way uh, to make the whole allowance issue a little easier for everyone in the family. The first step is to make sure you're really clear about what the chores are. Um, you know, just saying, well, keep your room tidy doesn't, you know, especially for a four-year-old, well, your version of tidy room might be much different than hers. So you need to be very specific. Uh, about what the chores are. It could be, you know, if we've got a three or four year old, it could simply be that the chore is every day you take your dish to the kitchen when you're done your meal. That could be the chore. That might be enough for a four year old to handle. Now I suggest you write it out and it should be on a chart somewhere. Mine's on the fridge. Even for little ones who can't read yet, it, it, it is just so important that they have at least a visual. So you know, you say, oh, I'm not sure you've done your chore today. Let's look at the fridge. Here are your three chores. Have you done them all? And, and just make this a little easier for everyone. So at my house, we've got a list on the fridge and I don't nag about it. So the rule is if you don't do your jobs, you lose money. So if you didn't put your laundry away, I'm taking a dollar off your allowance. For every item that's missed, a dollar comes off. Now, that means that there are some weeks that they're down a few dollars, absolutely, because they're kids and they're learning and they don't always get it right. But by doing that, we eliminate a lot of the arguing. So, you know, you didn't make your bed today? Oh well, you, you lose a dollar. Um, and I find that that just works so much better, uh, keeping everybody, you know, on task and doing their chores uh, without a lot of fight. So I would encourage you to, to get started on that with your kids right away. Um, you know, again, I can't, I can't stress the importance of, of learning good money skills. And, um, you know, again, one thing to think about too is with the younger ones, the whole issue of saving money is tricky for a younger child. <clears throat> they kind of have an instant gratification system going there. So as soon as they get their four dollars in their hand, they want to hightail it to the toy store and spend it all. Um, and that's okay. You know, I really believe we shouldn't put our own value on what they buy. You know, my son spent a hundred dollars he saved up one time on a rock. 
uh, and it, you know, t took almost everything I had to bite my tongue and say, okay, it's your money. If you want to buy that rock, that is up to you, but your money will be gone and you'll have to start saving again. And he happily bought his rock and loved it and showed it to everyone and is still really proud of that. So, so be careful you don't get your own you know, um, issues involved in their, in their spending. Uh, but again, it's the foundation. So if you teach that child from a very young age that if you want something that's $10, you need to save. And, and eventually they'll come around and they'll start to understand that, you know, what I can buy for $20 is way better than what I can buy for five, uh, and they'll start to save. So that's my advice on allowance. Um, I'm really excited to talk to you about that today. Uh, and I, hope, I thank you for watching. Sleep well.